Well, welcome back. After rescuing and rehabilitating Annie the parrot, Josh wanted to give her to a sanctuary to live with other birds. Instead, he says he was made to feel like a criminal and forced to hand her over to an organisation that refuses to tell him where she is. Hi. She was, uh, you know, kind of like an adopted child, you could say. It's enraged a lot of people, it's touched a lot of people. With her bright blue and red feathers, Annie isn't your average bird. But that's exactly why this exotic eclectus parrot has landed in the middle of a bureaucratic bun fight. And it's certainly the last thing either of us want uh, is, a, uh, is a criminal conviction. Affectionately named Annie after the fiery red-headed orphan, this plucky little parrot also had a tough start to life. That was until a Queensland couple spotted her on Gumtree and took her under their wing. She was um, basically purchased as a, as, a, as a baby bird, I guess, and the owner had sort of hand-raised her, um, but I think they'd recently had a child and therefore the bird, or Annie, um, as she came to be known, um, she, uh, she was neglected. Uh, was outside in a cage all day. She'd had her, the owner had had her wings clipped so she wasn't able to fly. Josh Cohen says the intention all along was to rehabilitate Annie before taking her to a dedicated bird sanctuary on the Sunshine Coast. We didn't want her to go to another, you know, um, uh, anywhere other than a sanctuary uh, because we knew she would be kept as a pet in a cage and the bird wants to fly. The mission to get Annie fighting fit quickly took flight. It began with a new diet. Different types of fruit, dragon fruit, uh, mangoes, blueberries, just things that she hadn't um, sort of experienced, um, you know, before. New words. Oh, good boy. Okay, look at that thing. And new freedoms. Here, Annie is going back to basics to learn how to fly. Having come so far in nine months, Josh felt Annie was ready to spread her wings. He contacted the sanctuary to hand her over, but was advised to do so he needed a movement permit through the Department of Environment and Science. It's required by law in Queensland to transfer certain wildlife between owners, something that was news to Josh, who'd only recently moved from Victoria. Well, we had a wildlife, um, a recreational wildlife licence, which we thought was sufficient to purchase a bird and to, to you know, effectively give her to the sanctuary. Um, turns out it wasn't. Upon contacting the department, Josh was informed keeping Annie was illegal and she must be surrendered immediately. We were labelled as criminals, uh, effectively, who had broken the law. There was no um, wiggle room or leeway. Um, they, it was either a, it was a situation of either you surrender the bird to us or we can actually come into your home um, and seize her. He says there wasn't an option to apply for a permit, so Josh and his wife heartbreakingly surrendered Annie to the department. It was terrible. I mean, I just felt like going to hell with all this getting back in the car and, <coughs> sorry, taking her, uh, uh, taking her back, you know, back home. Subsequently, the department gave the bird to the RSPCA. When Josh contacted the organisation, he says he was told he could adopt Annie once she appeared on its website. Last week, she popped up on the adoption page. Josh put in an application, but was swiftly rejected. We were told that it was in writing because we surrendered her, we were not allowed to adopt her, which conflicted with what we were told previously. The sanctuary also um, put in their application to adopt Annie. Uh, they were also denied. This is where Annie is meant to be, flying free at Mullaney Bird World in the Sunshine Coast hinterland. Instead, her profile on the RSPCA website has now changed her name to Candy and says she's no longer up for adoption, leaving Josh wondering, where's Annie? I don't honestly believe him that we're asking, you know, for a, for a lot. Josh has now started a petition, hoping the power of people can not only give him information about Annie's whereabouts, but also put her where she belongs. I do think, as well as Annie going to the sanctuary, I think the DES and RSPCA need to review their policies.
Makes sense. The RSPCA has told Josh Annie has been rehomed to a new owner, not a sanctuary. Further, the organisation and Department of Environment and Science maintain they've acted in Annie's best interests. Both of those statements are on our website along with a link to Josh's petition.